Hello everybody, it's Jason with Minnesota News Now. I'm out here at the Duluth Public Safety Building. This houses the Duluth Police Department, uh, the dispatch, and the Sheriff's Department. Uh, I'm getting updates as we go. I have talked to the mother, the girlfriend that actually shot the video. The mother was able to come up here yesterday on Monday and review the video. Uh, she was able to review uh, most of the body cams and some of the dash cams. The chief was allowing her to view all of it, but uh, she just couldn't view all of it uh, for time and emotion. Um, we can tell you that no gun uh, was found in the car. Uh, we can tell you that um, the officers went hands-on with Jacob before he was told he was arrested. And we can tell you that he was sprayed with mace at point blank range in his face. Um, the, the, we got a lot more background on Jacob as well because his uh, background is very, very much public uh, for his previous criminal history. Uh, th there is a lot to this story that, that I'm still digging in. I've been up in Duluth, this is my second day covering the story. Uh, Mainstream has put out a little couple blurps. Uh, I have some other videos. I was trying to get some videos from the girlfriend that she said she had. There was some data uh, corruption issues with those videos. So I'm still working on getting those uh, put together if, if I can get them. I do have some more pictures that I can post up, but we're staying on top of this. Uh, yesterday I was up here, I came up with the mother so she could review the f video footage. Um, the public information officer up here refused to uh, do any interviews. She's denying all media inquiries at this time. Uh, and the chief of police refused to talk to us as well. Uh, I have put in uh, information requests to get all the dash cam video and all the body cam video. I do have the officers' names. We're also trying to get the reports um, as well. And I'll have those available to, for you guys too. Um, as I'm getting the information, because this is an ongoing criminal investigation, it is very hard to get a lot of these. And the ongoing and criminal investigation is the charge of uh, basically, as we all know it, obstruction of legal process. Um, that was his only charge he picked up from this incident uh, that you've seen on the video that I released. We can, I can tell you that uh, during the incident, um, Jacob was, uh, the police went hands on with Jacob before he was even informed he was arrested. The officers opened up the door. Jacob was compliant before this incident happened. Uh, the officers asked him to roll down the window, which he did. They asked for his name. He, he doesn't have to give it. He was the passenger. I can tell you that Amanda, the driver, um, that allegedly the reason the stop happened, uh, was allowed to drive away after the incident. Um, so if their concern was the suspended license, as they say, they, they truly went after Jacob. So the other thing I can add to this too is with the statement from his mom after she reviewed the footage that she reviewed, uh, we can tell you that as he was complying, the door was opened and the officers went hands on with Jacob before they told him he was arrested. Um, the, the officers went hands on pushing him down before they told him he was arrested. And then after he started to struggle a little bit because he was seat belted in the car, he was never given the opportunity to surrender to the arrest or comply before they went hands on. He was, um, again, seat belted in the car when he was pushed over. The other officers got on the other side. were trying to pull him out of the car and use the, the, the pain compliance holds along with the hands uh, on the neck. The mother did inform me that she did see two knees go on the back of Jacob's neck. One from one officer here and one from one officer here. Not behind the shoulder blades. Um, there also was um, the other officer pulling him from the other side. 
and there was also the seat belt restraining him in the car. So even if he complied with the officers from the driver's side, the officers, the officers from the passenger side were trying to pull him out that way. So he was literally being pulled in two different directions and in the car restrained by the seat belt. In the photo, um, in the beginning of my other video, you can see the red marks on his um, side. Those are from the seat belt cutting into him while they're pulling him both ways out of the car. I'm gonna stay on this story. We're not letting it go. And we're gonna get, I'll give you updates. Also, uh, Know Your Rights in the North has also been uh, out here with us, uh, with me filming. And also another, um, I do wanna mention uh, that uh, the, the partnership I have with United States News Now or US News Now is doing a $1,000 uh, giveaway when they hit 5,000 subscribers. Uh, so I encourage you guys to go over there. It's a great organization. I'm very happy to be part of this bigger organization. It's a very professional organization. So if you guys check out that uh, outlet, they have a website, United States News Now. I'll leave some links check out their uh, their um, YouTube page as well we're we're growing we're expanding and we're bringing you guys the news uh, First Amendment audits uh, police interaction it's growing we're still on the groundwork of this but we need your help too so we can keep doing this please stay tuned watch for the updates we're doing our best. Leave comments if you have questions. I will try and answer all of those in upcoming videos versus responding to each comment. I will do my best, but it has been an extremely busy day yesterday, and today uh, it's going to be a pretty busy day too. We're staying on top of it. We're not letting it go. Please like, share, and subscribe. It's very important for us to get, get the information out there. And again, if you guys have any questions, definitely leave comments so I can answer those in future videos. Again, don't forget to check out United States News Now, U.S. News Now on YouTube. Links will be in the description below. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your guys' support. I know this is a little bit different, but I try to cover everything that's going on here in Minnesota. I have been going over to Wisconsin. Let me know if there's something, any information you guys have. We'll, we'll try our best to get into it, tear into it, make sure we get all the facts. Thank you again. Minnesota News Now out.